one of the things that I've learned in my business career is that if something doesn't work, you just change your approach. So what I did was I put down the list for about a day and then I called local manufacturers to see how they had gotten their products into their stores. And they told me the same thing. They're not going to, you know, listen to you. You're not established. You know, it took us three or four years to get our products into the stores. So what I did after that, I said, okay, I'm going to take this list and turn it upside down just to see what happens. And in that list, to me, um, I had written the largest natural organics uh, supermarket in the United States. And to me, that was the Whole Foods market. So I took that list and I turned it upside down and I called them. And I remember just saying, hey, my name is Maria Magdalena de la Cruz Garcia. I have an awesome pico de gallo sal de salsa. And uh, I think you guys will love it. And that was my message. That's just very simple. And I got a call the next day. I remember I was parked in the city center in Charleston in my little car and this guy calls and says, hey, uh, is this Maggie? I said, yeah. He says, this is Eric with Whole Foods. And I'm like, oh, my God. And he says, uh, we heard about you. We want to know more. When can you come? And I literally said, you know, I asked, when do you guys meet next? And he said, tomorrow at 9 a.m. I mean, he, he this call was placed at 6 p.m. the day before, and I didn't have any salsa. So I said, I'll be there. But I just rushed to the kitchen, made some product, and drove all night long. Didn't sleep. I didn't care. <laughs> And um, I came into their main distribution center in Maryland and presented the products and they were just blown away. And the next thing they asked me is, when, we, when can we have your products? And I was like, well, how much do you need? And at the time I was making about, I think it was uh, 250 pounds per week for my friends. And their first order was for 10,000 pounds of salsa. Oh, wow. <laughs> One of the helpers that I had, uh, we... Uh, counted about 60,000 tomatoes. We cut all that in one week. It took us a whole week. And then, I mean, it, there was a lot of challenges, but I was willing to do whatever it took to make it a success. You know, I didn't have any money. The banks wouldn't loan me any money because I had nothing to show for. So I went to Whole Foods and I asked for a contract and I said, listen, you know, I can supply this product to you, but I need something that shows that you're going to pay me so that I can borrow this money. So I went to friends I said, look, this is the contract. They pay me in a week. I need 20 grand for cost of goods, That's containers, product, anything that goes into the making the product, including the ingredients. And they let me borrow 20 grand. Within a week, Whole Foods paid me 40 grand. I returned that 20 grand. And then week after week after week, it just kept multiplying. And um, it's like one of those things where if you, if I would have stopped where people are telling me like, you're not making any money, just get a job or something. I would have never been that far, you know, I've gotten that far. 